What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. Back with another video today. It's the Arsenal versus Chelsea preview. Um, before we get into the video, keep subscribing to the channel. Appreciate all your great support. Comment down below at the end of this and keep smashing that thumbs up button. So, Arsenal versus Chelsea, Tuesday night at Stamford Bridge. This is going to be a difficult game for Arsenal. Um, we haven't got a great record at Stamford Bridge. Uh, I think the last time we beat them there was the um, the Van Persie hat trick. That was a long, long time ago. And uh, I'm not overly confident going into this one. Not so much because Chelsea are anything special, because I don't particularly rate this Chelsea team, but we're not that special ourselves either. And um, we're struggling at the moment. We're drawing games left, right, and centre. I looked at the Premier League table, you know, 11 draws for Arsenal this season. It just shows, you know, how different this season could have been. If we could have turned five or six of those into victories, who knows where we could have been. Um, six wins out of 23, it's, it's damning reading for Arsenal. Um, and just sums up our season, really, with the nearly men. Um, Chelsea also, eight defeats this season, so clearly they're nothing special. They lost their last game, 1-0 um, against Newcastle. Uh, their form's been very up and down as well. Tammy Abraham is the leading the line for them. He, he's a bit inconsistent as well, although he has scored goals this season. You know, one week he seems to look like a world beater, the next week he doesn't look that good. But he's a young player on his way up. And Chelsea at the bridge will be difficult. You know, Kante and Willian, Mason Mount, Abraham, they won't be easy to play against. Um, looking at Arsenal, Arteta said that Kalasinac and Reese Nelson will be out until next month. So the injury problems continue to mount. Kieran Tierney's out. Aubameyang is out through suspension, of course. Um, you know, a few players coming back. You know, the likes of Bellerin, Sabayos were on the bench at the weekend. So they're on their way back. Rob Holding as well. But we're short. You know, we need to go into the transfer market. But in terms of the team for this game, I would go with Burnt Leno in goal. Um, I would continue with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I still think he's ahead of Bellerin at this stage. Um, Saka would play at left-back. He did well the other day against Sheffield United. Um, I would then go David Luiz. And Socrates apparently is pretty much recovered, although they say he will have a test. If he's OK, I would play Socrates next to Luiz. Midfield will be... Um, do you know what? Yeah, the midfield will be Xhaka and Torreira. I would take Ozil out of the team for this game and I would play Danny Ceballos. I honestly would. I think Ozil's form has really, you know, it's been put in the spotlight over the last few days. You know, one assist, no goals this season in the Premier League is horrific. You know, when you saw Alisson in goal for Liverpool got an assist the other day, he's actually got equal stats to Meza Ozil in terms of goals and assists, which are the primary stats for a, a number 10. Is your goals and your assists. Yeah, chances created is another one as well. And I know Ozil does create chances. But, you know, you've had Aubameyang, Golden Boot winner last season. He only got two assists last year. Aubameyang's, what, second, third top goal scorer in the Premier League. One assist this season. It's not good enough. Um, so I would give Danny Ceballos a go. I think in a lot of these games away from home, Ozil does nothing. Um, so, yeah, I would play Ceballos in the ten. Front three would be Pepe, Lacazette and Martinelli. Um, Lacazette has received a lot of criticism, some of it rightly so. He has to start scoring goals. He has to play like the Lacazette that you know was playing last season. Playoff instinct. Even last season he should have scored more, but he was sharp last season. I don't know if he looks a bit too heavy. Is he not fit? He's having the extra touch when he should just shoot. We need to see more from Lacazette and this would be an ideal game for him to deliver. Um... You know, Pepe, again, showing glimpses of quality, but we need more end product. The crosses have to be better. The shots, I want to see more shots at goal. I want to see him go past his fullback more. We haven't seen enough of that. On the left-hand side, Martinelli is the bright spark of our front three at the moment. Um, and I would definitely start him in this game. And I would expect him to cause problems. And, you know, he's so good at the press as well. So that would be my front three. I'll be honest with you. I'm lacking confidence. Um, we don't have many options on the bench. Um, Chelsea aren't great. If we can sit back and soak up the pressure and hit them on the counter-attack, then you never know. But I, I just don't have the belief in this team at the moment. I'm going to go for a 2-1 defeat. And believe me, I find it very difficult to predict that my team is going to lose. But I, I'm being honest. I don't expect us to win this game. If they surprise me, 
then brilliant. But I'm going 2 1 to Chelsea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think the score is going to be? What team would you pick? Would you continue with Lacazette? Would you play Ozil? I've gone for Ceballos over Ozil, although I would pick Lacazette over Enketia. Enketia hasn't really impressed me much at this stage. I'm sure he'll come off the bench. Keep subscribing to the channel. Comment down below. Smash that thumbs up button and we'll be back next time. Come on, you Arsenal. Bless.